Okay, so this picture right here is really what started everything. So my son, when he was about five or six years old, he drew this picture and he gave it to me. My son is now 24 years old. 24. So I saved this picture and then one day I opened it up in 2000, uh, 2008. up and this is what this morphed into this so this is what started Hey, I'm James Wright. I'm hanging out with the crew of The End Zone. Please like, share, subscribe to The End Zone Podcast. You won't be disappointed. Let's go! Good evening, people. Uh, my name is Reggie. Today, I have a very special guest. It's one of my partners down at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. He's known as the Soup Man. Let's get, hey, let me introduce the Soup Man. How's everybody doing? Good afternoon. I am James Wright, uh, a.k.a. Superman, uh, JRTC instructor at Spruce High School, First Sergeant Wright. How y'all doing? So, James, give them a little background of how you started doing, being a fan of the Cowboys. Okay, so my fan, my fandom started when I was a little, little youngster back in 1975 is when I first started watching football. I didn't start really watching it until 1976. In 1976, Dallas came out with the star on the helmet. They had the red, white, and blue stripe on the helmet. They had the number on the pants. They had the foam green pants. I didn't know they was foam green until I learned that a little later on. They had um, the clean white jerseys. That was our always look. And then my best friend was a, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So we had to be enemies at everything. So... Dallas Cowboys, Pittsburgh Steelers, 70s, that was big rivalry. So that's how it all started. So, talking to our viewers out there, now, what made you say, well, hey, I want to be go and be the fan of the year for the Cowboys? Well, I always thought I was the fan of the year anyway. <laughs> so when I was selected by the Dallas Cowboys to be the fan of the year, and I would tell people, people would always be like, oh, we already know that. I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. The Cowboys picked me to be the fan of the year. They were like, yeah, we know that too. I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. They gave me Super Bowl tickets. They gave me a statue. I got a ring. I, they, they made me the real deal. I Like, I was left. Then they'd be like, oh, you ain't playing. I was like, nah, it's a real it's a real thing. Captain Morgan and the Cowboys, they, they it's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us how, once you got the award, tell me, and tell the viewers, how did it impact your life? So, a lot of you probably don't know or you may know that my wife passed away in 2021, November 11th. So, November 11th is a big day for me. It's Veterans Day because I'm, I'm, I'm a former vet. It's uh, my wife's death day and then my grandbaby was born on that day. So, fast forward a year later, literally almost to the day, uh, I was selected as the fan of the year, so that brought me out of my depression state, and that helped me get back to living and being a part of life, so they gave me a reason for life. Okay, so back then, when, like I said, when you were getting ready to be the fan of the year, so what was like, what was that journey like? Tell the people what was that journey, how, how did you get started? You just, actually, you started going to the stadium, games, you were dressing up, but what made you say, well, hey, I can be that fan of the year? Okay, so the way I became the fan of the year was the year before, the 2021 fan of the year, Chase Smith was down in the middle of light area, and he had the jersey on and said fan of the year. And I'm looking at him like, man, how you become fan of the year? What is fan of the year? I'm mm -hmm. the fan of the year. Right. And he's like, no, nah, not like people were clearing away for him. He had like bodyguards and all kinds of stuff. I'm like... What, how, what did you do? He said, 
Man, it's crazy. All I did was fill out this survey, uh -huh. and then the Cowboys selected me as fan of the year. I said, what? That's a real thing? He's like, yeah, Captain Morgan. They sent me to the same thing that I said. He said to me first. So that's why I used what he said to become the fan. And you and your outfits was better than his, huh? Man, he didn't have on nothing but a jersey. He didn't even have on an outfit. <laughs> so I met Chase, got to know him. Real good guy. Uh -huh. So I said, the worst that could happen is that I don't get selected as right, fan of the year. Right. So when the window opened up, I said, okay, I'm going to fill out the survey. I'm going to take my chances. And the worst that could happen, I don't get selected for fan of the year. I'm no better, no worse off. So I get a call like a week before they select me, and they say, hey, I'm a nominee. Oh, okay. Okay, you're a nominee. Nominee. So when I got that, I called Chase immediately. I said, Chase, they sent me a letter. They said, hey, I'm a nominee for the uh, fan of the year. But what they were saying was I was a nominee for the NFL they, fan of okay. the year. Okay. But I was the Dallas Cowboys. You had already year. got selected, but you didn't know it. Right. Right, I had already got selected, okay. and I didn't okay. know it. And uh, the Cowboys, they, they they played me real good and got me real good. So they told me I was going to do a Zoom call the day that I was getting selected as the fan of the year. So right. I was sitting, and right where I'm sitting at now, waiting for my phone call for the Zoom call uh -huh. from the Dallas Cowboys. And they like, um, I called the lady at the time. It was supposed to be at noon. I called her at noon. Her name is Savannah Hugh Miller. I called Savannah. I said, Savannah, they're not letting me in. She didn't answer my phone calls. She didn't answer my texts. I said, man, what <laughs> is going on? I said, I can't get through. So my best friend calls me, and she's like, hey, you need to open the door. I said, I will do no such thing. I'm waiting for the Cowboys to call me. Right, right, right. Because right. I'm supposed to be doing my my Zoom call for, to see if I can be selected as fan of the year. Right, she said, right. no, nah, you really need to open the front door. And so I have Vivid. Home security. I can see what's going on. Right, right. For some reason that day my baby wasn't working. <laughs> so I said, I said, Mary, I tell you what, if I go open this door, right, and I missed this Zoom call because they didn't call me in between the time I went downstairs, opened the door, and and missed the Zoom call, I'm I'm gonna be real upset if I missed it. She's like, Nah, you ain't gonna be. Don't worry about it. Just go open the door. Okay. So I went down. I opened the door, and Darren Woodson is standing at my front door, and I'm like. Darren Woodson was standing at your front door. Darren Woodson was standing at my front door. Jerry Jones' bus was across the street. Oh, here? Had, across the street over here. They had two cheerleaders, uh, Victoria and uh, uh, Demi, the, uh, I forgot her name, but the two cheerleaders was there. Right. Uh, they had two uh, drummers from the drum line, and then they had Rowdy. Mm -hmm. They was all at my front door, and I'm like, what is going on? And then my best friend, the one that called me, she, she was standing knew. out front. She already knew but about it. But she already knew about it. She already knew. But so she never told She you. never told me what was going on until she called me and told me to go open the front door. That's what she said. So I'm like, what? And Darren was like, hey, I'm Darren Wilson from the Dallas Cowboys. I'm like, oh, I know who you are. Right. I know who you are. And he's like, hey, I just want to tell you, you selected as the Cowboys fan of the year. I was like, oh, man, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So... It, it, it went from there. So uh, the news station was feminist when when they rolled up? Uh, no, nah, I had a photographer. So the Cowboys had one of their photographers to roll with them. Uh -huh. So everywhere I went for that day, I, I was being uh, for, uh, photographed. So they came to the house. They picked me up. They took me to the Omni. They put took me on a shopping spree. They took me on a tour of the store. And then after they took me on a tour of the store, they put me up in the Omni for a night. And then they took me to the game the next day. They gave me field passes. So I was on the field pass. Then they uh, put me on the 50-yard line, and they announced me to the whole stadium on the 50-yard line. Okay. To somebody out there that wants to be a fan of the year for the Cowboys, to tell them some of the benefits that you get for being a fan of the year for the Cowboys. Okay, so some of the benefits you get for being the fan of the year is – Number one, the first one, is they send you to the Super Bowl. You and one other person, anybody you pick. So you get all expense paid to the Super Bowl. That's hotel, flight, game, and you get to go to the honors, honor show, which is where all the NFL players go the uh, Thursday before they announce, I mean, before they play the Super Bowl, you get a SI party, Sports Illustrated party, that they throw the the big party where all the big wigs is at. Shaq so where is this store over there? 
Every wherever the Super Bowl is at. Oh, where the Super Bowl. So okay. wherever the Super Bowl is at, that's where you get to go. Then in the for for me, they sent me to the draft. Me and another person to the draft. Uh -huh. They sent me to a few games, away games and home games. They gave me field passes for the home games, and they gave me numerous. I got my whole Captain Morgan section over in my, in my little uh, memorabilia section. And plus, you got a statue, statue in the front yard right now. Statue, yes. So, so there were six of us that got statues as fan of the years. But my claim to fame is there's only two people that's ever had a statue at AT&T Stadium. Tom Landry and James Wright. You're looking at them, people. You're looking at it. Yep. Two people. Tom Two. Landry, James Wright. Now, James, tell the viewers some of the most uh, rememberable moments that you have since you've been fan of the year dealing with the Dallas Cowboy players. I would say from... The knock on the door until today. It's all been very memorable. So the some of the players know me by face and by sight and by name. Uh, just going to all the different events has been over the top. So when I went to the honors, uh, I seen Moochie. And I was like, hey, you're Moochie. And he's like, yeah, you're James Wright. So he knew who I was. Yeah, oh, oh, I, that that did it for me right there. <laughs> I, that did it. I was like, oh man! And then I got to meet a lot of the players' mom and dads because of the different events that I was at. So right. I got to meet a lot of them. So it's just everything from the day they gave me the statue, December 11th, at the stadium. I had a line where I was taking pictures and just having a good time with Captain Morgan and uh, everything that Captain Morgan has done. They called me to do a couple of events. I've done events with uh, Darren Woodson. Mm -hmm. So, um, just just everything. Everything is, is memorable. So, who is your favorite cowboy? So, it's like picking a favorite kid. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. I'm a fan of the team. Okay. So, anybody that's on the Cowboys, they mine. Okay. So, I can't pick one of my kids and be like, oh, that's my favorite kid. Okay. Since <laughs> you said all of the team, so we're going to break it down. So, the last thing, James, if you out there... What would you tell the viewers how the experience that you went through, how it's changed you? So my experience has changed me to make it to where I want everybody to be happy and everybody to get along and everybody to have a good experience whenever they go to any game. Because if you don't have if you don't have a foe, who are you going to fight against? You can't fight against yourself. So if you don't have a foe, it's okay to not like a team, but don't dislike them to the fact to where you got to be angry with somebody else. Because think about it. If you don't have somebody to fight, you ain't fighting with nobody but yourself. All right. Appreciate the time, brother. All right. No problem. <laughs> right here is Captain Morgan. So I got a numerous Captain Morgan items from... Uh, when they selected me as fan of the year that they've sent me and then some of the stuff that I purchased. So that's why Captain Morgan is very important to me and in my life. Uh, I have this right here, which is from training camp. That's from training camp when I was at training camp this year. Then I have this right here, which is a Super Bowl bottle. This is actually a Pepsi. But at uh, the Super Bowl, they had these one-of-a-kind cans for the Super Bowl. And I got these, and I actually passed these out to some of my coworkers uh, as uh, memorabilia gifts. Then, of course, there's some more Captain Morgan right here. I have numerous helmets. And then the helmet that I talked about, this was the helmet that I saw the Cowboys wearing that got me to really liking the Cowboys. And one little uh, fact about this helmet that a lot of people don't know is that this helmet represents the Bicentennial, 1976. 1976 was the first year that they wore this helmet, and they hadn't worn it up until a couple of years ago when they wore it one more time. So they've worn this helmet a total of three times in the Cowboys' uh, lifespan. A lot of people don't know that.
then I have right here more Captain Morgan. I have a Nutcracker right here. And then this right here is some wine that was established back in 1960 when the Cowboys was uh, put into action. 1960s wine. I have that. And then these right here are pretty neat. I have about seven of these little crochet uh, dolls. All of me except for one. And that one is of my wife in her matching outfit. So this is us right here. Then I have a couple of neat things. Legos. So my wife bought me this Lego set uh, back in 2000. I want to say it was 2018. I put it together in 2019. It took me seven days. It's a replica of AT&T Stadium that I put together. And then once I put that together, I got the bug. And then I got the snowman. I got a player. I got Rowdy. And I got the star. And then I got some little football. So once I got one thing, I had to, of course, get everything in the Legos. And then uh, another thing that people don't know, I got some batteries. <laughs> Dallas Cowboy batteries. They are Dallas Cowboy. I got that from my aunt. She got me the Dallas Cowboy batteries. And then here's my whole fan of the year section right here. So a lot of stuff that I got as fan of the year. Uh, got it from the Cowboys themselves and got, got some stuff from Captain Morgan. And then uh, my sponsor made some of the stuff. So I'll turn some of the stuff around. And then, of course, I got my whole fan of the year badge. And then another thing, all of my uh, Dallas Cowboys clothes. So I have Dallas Cowboy clothes, shoes, everything that's Dallas Cowboy goes in this closet. And I wear it. I have very minimal stuff downstairs in my, in my regular closet. But all this stuff right here is all Dallas Cowboy. Hey, so man. here's a couple of my suits. So pull it out, right? Yeah, yeah. This is one of my white suits right here. So I have a jacket that goes with this suit, but the jacket was autographed by Jerry Jones and CeeDee Lamb. So I kind of put it in retirement, but mm -hmm. if we make it to that other place that I've been talking about that we're trying to go, oh, I'm going to bring it back out. I'm going to bring it back out. <laughs> Then I have, uh, let's do a couple of random ones. So once I was selected as fan of the year, my neighbor, she made me this suit right here. So she made me this suit. Custom made all the way around. No other one like it. Then one of my sponsors, Carolyn Williams, she made me this vest because when Darren Woodson came to the house, he looked around my room, and he was like, man, I don't see no 28s in here. No 28s. So what he did was he took his jersey off. He autographed it. He gave it to me. So he's like, you got a 28 in here now. So I said, next time I see him, I'll have something 28 to represent Darren Woodson. So my vest is 28 embroidered for Darren Woodson. That's what that's for. And then... I got another one of my suits right here. So this is one of the ones I was talking about. This is the one that me and my wife got together. So this suit is special because me and my wife wore it. And then it's got shorts. So on cold, nice warm days, I can wear shorts. And then on nice cold days, I can wear the long pants. And I've got it made in a Mexican Hispanic style with the short coat. So that's how I got that this one made. That's the whole thing behind it. Uh, and then one of the other ones is my breast cancer suit. So my wife was uh, was recovering from breast cancer. So I had this suit made the 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 whole theme behind the suit is that it looks like a jersey. 
So, got the 22 in the front. Represents the year that I was selected as fan of the year. Got the star on top of the jersey, like they do on the uniform. I got the 22 on the side, so they'll know who I am. On the back, I got me and my logo. This is my logo. How my logo is represented is I got the 22. Here I got selected as fan of the year. My logo, which I'm getting trademarked. And then my name. And then on the inside, I have a custom. Custom. On the inside. So that's that one. And then one of the last ones I'll show you. Is so since I travel a lot, I have a couple of what I call cold weather outfits. So this one's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit thicker, so the material is heavier. So whenever I go to a cold weather, I, I wear this with one of my custom shirts, which is kind of the same. So my my sponsor, Carolyn Williams, she really used to like uh uh number 85 which is brown right here. So she put 85 on the sleeve and then on the front of the shirt, you have my logo and then Dallas Cowboys fan of the year. Yep. And then the last thing is my my fan of the year jacket that Captain Morgan gave us. So when they gave me the jacket, it just had this fan of the year and then they had this, my star on it. But what I did was I got it custom made, got my name put on the back. And then I had the star put on there and then Captain Morgan had already had it embroidered with 2022 and then Captain Morgan. So that's a couple of the outfits. Is a, a wall dedicated to my wife, which this wall was dedicated to her before she passed. But this is some of our key moments. So this was a time when I was, uh, she was dropping me off at the airport in San Diego. Whenever I travel, I always wear Dallas Cowboys stuff. So I was in my Dallas Cowboys gear. So we took our little selfie before I got on the plane. This was when we did first take for the first time right here. This was when she came to visit me and we were getting ready to go to the airport, but uh, I took her on a tour of the stadium. This was at the stadium outside when we went to a game. And then this one was also inside the stadium in the middle light area where I took her downstairs. So this side is dedicated to her. And then this is also inside the middle light area. Yep, yeah, so these shoes, Custom made J's with her name. And then the inscription says, fight like a girl. So I had these made for Rose. And then over here, I got a couple things. Uh, this right here is uh, Drew Pearson when he was in, uh, enshrined in the Hall of Fame. So I was fortunate enough to get selected to go to his uh, Hall of Fame party. So these are all the bands that I got when I went to this party along with this napkin. People were like, oh, that looks like the napkin that's at the, that's at the stadium. But it was one of the napkins that was at his Hall of Fame party. So that's what this whole thing is about right here. And then that was the extra band that I got. And then this picture right here, my cousin had it special made for me. It's got my name in the crowd. And then right here is uh, the stadium. The stadium. Yeah, so those are those are a few things that uh, I'm 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 pretty pretty proud about having and collecting. And then this I got from uh, Traders Village. It's got all the rings, and then it's got the greats that helped get those rings. Uh, the Roger Staubach, and then I was fortunate enough to meet him at the stadium. So I, I met him. He actually wore my hat. So he asked me if he could put my hat on while we was in the elevator going down, and I was like, of course. So he put my hat on, we got a picture, real nice guy. And then the trio, I got to meet Michael Irvin 
Uh, I met Emmett Smith, and then I haven't met Troy Aikman yet. So those are a couple things that I got.